Hey guys, I'm HP, this is Dr. Pink, and today I'm going to talk about Stand By Me by Benny King. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and also join the HP Crazy Geek Tour Academy with a free member account or a premium member account if you want to download what I'm showing you here. So, let's get started. What is this song about? I mean, listening to it... Um, that's what we gotta learn. Music speaks faster than words. That's we're gonna learn, and also the chords. Um, well, this is the bass uh, line, which is played, but in combination with chords and if you you know in a jam session or so you can play this part and so let's get started all right guys i really love these songs from the 60s because there's they're always uh, pretty simple in the form in this case it's a chord progression repeats all the time we have two bars of a one two three four one two three four to f sharp minor One, two, three, four, one, two, three. To D, we take this. One, two, one, two, to E. One, two, three, four. And two bars of A. So, I'm first just going to play with chords. Uh, you can do, I mean, you, you can take the original um, guitar there, but it's not really doing much you're gonna one two three four 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 or something like this Yeah, it's really simple. Um, that's for beginners, really simple. While the F sharp with the bar is not so easy, but yo. But now let's check out the uh, the bass line with the chords, which is probably more interesting. I suggest you play with finger picking, but you of course can also play it with uh, the pick. So we have a A5 now. So we're playing the E string, the D string, and the G string. So and the rhythm is like the one. Two and three, four. That's the main rhythm. One on two, we make a pop. Let's also do with a pick. One, two, one, two and three, four. One, two and three, four. So the I go back to finger picking, but as you like. So A5, one, two and three, four, and on four. You also go back then one, two and three, four, one, two and two. F sharp five is here the second fret, fourth, fourth. One, two and three, four, one, two and three, four. And now <coughs> the bass is going more down, but we can do not do that with the uh, or original tuned guitar. We make um, but we simulate going down. We're making it a D. With the A in the bass, let's go like this: fifth fret, fifth fret, index in the fourth fret. One, two, and three, four. A f e five, open E string here, bar here in the second fret on the A and D string. One, two, and three, back to A five. Okay, so one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One. Two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. So that's the full form. Eight bars form is really simple. Now the bass makes a little bit more. We're going to check out this. So we have the same figure one, two, and three, and now on four. We have a bass line here, open E string, second fret, one, two, and three, four, and one, see, 
on four rig four and then back to this chord one two and three four and one two and second time we go and now we have to take it here in the fifth fret because when you take the open string it's a little bit cheesy to switch to the chords I suggest it's easier to play here from the fifth fret down five four and then you're ready to go directly to the F sharp power chord okay one two and three four and one two and three four and one two and three and now it's a little exception one two and three and then just on count four the open E string one two and three four one two and then again second fret open string then we go to the D and now the bass line is doing this you just stay on the chord play the A string in DC to E5 and then open E string second fret I'm not quite sure if it's second or fourth fret, but I, I listened it a few times. It's not totally clear. I would say 80% it's 0, 2, back to A5, but it also could be 20%, 0, 4 to A5. Yo. So the whole thing is now like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. itself and with the pick it will be <laughs> like this I prefer the finger picking version but both works yo and that's the whole thing I mean, you just keep it going, and in the original song, more and more instruments come along. You know, you first just have this, uh, I think it's a chicken egg. Then comes the lyrics, and then comes a second guitar, which would show, play the chords I showed. And so on. Yo, yo, guys, that was that was it already. <laughs> That's what I really love of this uh, about many songs from the 60s. They're so simple. They're explained in five minutes, and they're learned in two minutes. So uh, I don't think it will take you very long to learn this song. As I said, the thing repeats all the time. Um, the I mean, the cool thing or the complex thing about this song is the full arrangement with strings, with lyrics, guitar. Uh, second guitar, bass, and this chicken egg, and of course the lyrics. But um, the main figure which goes on all the time is this, which I show now. Good. One more to say, if you want to download the tabs for the, what I just showed, if you're not sure, <coughs> it's available in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Please join there. And you can download that figure I showed a, uh, as a premium member but please also join as a free member because we're building a little guitar community there and you also will receive my newsletter and get uh, information about more amazing news just make sure it's um, you switched switched it on good that's all me and dr pinger wanted to say we're saying goodbye with stand with us mm -hmm.